first of all we will create another project in the semantic manager next we will insert a new project as 7300 station and we will go to the hardware configuration here we will insert the reg 300 cpu we will select 312c Here we can see the IO addresses for the digital inputs and outputs. From these addresses, we can change the starting address to zero. Save and compile. Close. Next, we will go to the blocks OB1. Here we will insert a contact and an output coil for the input contact we can name it as 100.0 and the output will be q0.0 we'll go back and download the project into the plc okay now the project is downloaded we'll go online once And as you can see that if we turn on this bit, it turns on the output Q0.0. Next, we have to make some configuration in the OPC server. We will go to our OPC server. And here we will add a channel. We can name this channel as Siemens. And from this list, we have to select our communication channel. And we are going to connect our CPU via TCP IP Ethernet. So we will select this. Now we have to select our device. We can name this device as S7312 CPU. And our model is S7300. And the IP address of our gateway is 192.168.1.1. Next, we have to create some tags. We'll double click here and uh, we can write here output. For the address, we can write here 20.0. And we are going to read only this output tag. We can select here read only. Okay. And that's it. Our OPC is configured. We can test once by running this quick client. We'll select our CPU and here we can see our output tag. The current value is zero. If we go here and change this bit to one, as you can see that our output is on and its status is also updated in the OPC client. Next we will close this client. Okay. Minimize all the things and we will run the lab view software. Here we will create a new project. Blank. Here we have to configure or create a IO server. We will select the OPC client and we will click here, browse button. Here we will select this window RV0 and select our NIOPC server. Click OK. Next, we have to create another library for the text. And in this library, we have to create some bound variables. And from the list, we will select our OPC channel and our CPU and output text. Add this one into this library. Click OK. Next, we have to deploy all of these library in tags. So we we'll click here, deploy all, deploy all. Next, we will right click here and create a new VI. We will insert here an indicator and name it as Q0.0.
we'll go to the block diagram and here we have to link our tag. We'll go to the share variable node, my computer, and output tag. Now to execute, we need a loop. We will create a while loop around it. Assign it a control button and run it. So here is our indicator. This is the letter logic. Now here, if we modify this tag to one, this LED also updated in the lab view software via OPC server. And if we turn off this bit and 100.0, it turns off the Q0.0 output and same is reflected here in the lab view software. So this is how we can configure our tags in the NI OPC server and link these with this lab view software.